Today, we will test the expert advisor that we coded to check if this apply the simple moving average trend following system that we coded the way that we planned. We will start by the hedging version. So here we select the hedging version, it is already selected. And this time we will test in a different market. Let's get out of Forex for now. And yeah, let's do NASDAQ. This period is fine. And these settings are also OK. Now we will enable the visual mode. And for the inputs, we have to review what is the minimal volume for NASDAQ. So let's go here and go to specifications. And the minimal volume is one minilot. So let's change this. And for the stop loss, we have to check if 200 points is okay it's enough of a range for the stop loss in nasdaq so let's open this chart it is this one and we are going to test h1 so let's move this to h1 and let's see how much is the distance here so from here to here we have like 15,000 points so let's use that for the stop loss points in may and I think we are set, so let's start the test. Now let's remove the grid and let's adjust this a little bit. And now let's review if our expert advisor is working as we planned. So the first thing we have to look at is the entry and the e exit signal. Remember, this system opens a long position when the price closes above the moving average and it closes that long position when the price closes below the moving average. And the opposite is true for short positions. So, let's review these trades. As we can see here, it opened a long when the price closed above the moving average and here it closed that long position and immediately it opened a short position. So it is working OK. This short was closed here and here it opened along and again here. And we can see how this system does this type of zigzag that is characteristic from this trend following system. Now let's review the stop loss. We selected a stop loss that is of fixed points above or below the moving average. We can see here that every stop loss is effectively placed above or below the moving average depending on it is a long or a short position. For instance, this trade here, the stop loss is here. It's about 15,000 points below the moving average. Now let's wait for a short trade and see if it is placed above the moving average. Very big long trend here. This is a very nice trade. It will capture a lot of pips. Okay, now let's review. And here we have the stop loss above the moving average. So this is working as we expected. OK, let's stop the test. So far, so good. Now, let's do the test for the netting version. So we will change the broker. And let's open one of these symbols here, for instance, Nasdaq. And let's adjust the settings. So here, let's select the Nasdaq, which is this one, the USA Tech. And we have to change the expert advisor. Now, the simple moving average hedging EA, it will work okay in the strategy tester if we use it in a netting account. And that is because we filled the request.symbol parameter of the request object when we sent the order. But I am not so sure that this expert advisor hedging EA 
would work okay in a trading account when it is traded in conjunction with other expert advisors. So I would not recommend using the hedging EA in a netting account. We called it the netting EA for netting accounts. So I would stick to that. Now we will test the netting expert advisor because we are in a netting account. And all of these settings are okay. Now let's go to inputs and let's review USA Tech. What are the specifications in this broker? So one of the things that I can see here is the stop levels and we have not talked about that. This is the distance from the open price that you have to respect when placing a pending order or a stop loss. There are brokers that have no stop levels, but active trades do have stop levels. And here we have the minimal volume for Nasdaq in active trades. It is of two mini lots. And the time that this market is open. Okay, so let's use two mini lots. We already have this input here, so very good. And for a sensible range for Nasdaq here, 2000 would not be much. Let's also use 15,000, as we used before. And we are set. Let's now start the test. Okay, let's remove the grid. And let's see if the expert advisor netting version works okay in a netting account. Okay, we are now in a short trade and it seems that it is working okay. You can see the zigzag, it opens the long, then a short, long, short. And it goes like that because we are in a sideways market right now. But as soon as Nasdaq enters in a trend, then the system will stick in that trend for as much as the trend longs. Right now, you can see that we are doing a very long trade. And quite profitable one. So the system is indeed working. Now. Should we now go immediately to a live account and trade this system? Absolutely not. This could be a system that does not work well with these settings or in this symbol or time frame. But how do we know? Well, to know if a trading system can work in the future, we have to backtest that system and then, if it passes the backtest and we have confidence in the system, deploy it in a trading account. We will do that in next lesson.